There are millions of Minecraft players and most of them are bad. So today, together with Miles, we're gonna look at the stupidest Minecraft mistakes. Number one, if you're mining for diamonds at Y11, then you're making a big mistake. Since the Caves and Cliffs update came out, the best place to find diamonds is at Y-58. There's only one item that you need to have every time you go into the nether and that item is the boat. You can use it to clutch, you can use it to trap mobs or you can pretend that you're a dream. The only thing worse than not patching up creeper holes is only replacing the top layer. This creates a dark spot where mobs can spawn so either do it properly or use a torch. But if you think this mistake is bad just wait until you see what's later in the video. If you're someone who makes stone swords or even worse wooden swords then listen up because you're clearly a minecraft noob. The best early game weapon Weapon is the stone axe. It's easy to make and it deals more damage than a diamond sword. Smelting ores in a furnace is a pretty big blunder. I know it's hard to break old habits, but look how much more you'd get by using fortune. But Dadusak, I don't have fortune. Then go and get it. It's the best enchant in the game. You can tell if someone is a noob by how quickly they run in a two block tall tunnel. I don't care if you destroy your keyboard, but you have to spam the spacebar. And I don't mean this. I mean this. One of the worst feelings ever is being in deep cave when your pickaxe breaks and not having enough wood to make a new one. If this happens to you, then congratulations, you're certified Minecraft noob. Swimming up is much faster when you're holding down the space bar. But do you know that this also works when swimming down? If you want to swim down super quickly, hold shift while you're doing it. I don't care if you're vegan in real life, but please, for the love of God, don't eat vegetables in Minecraft. Just get yourself a nice juicy steak and you'll make me very happy. Don't forget to cook it though, because eating raw meat is just as bad as eating melons. I hate melons. And I also hate losing. I'm currently racing this other YouTuber to 1 million subscribers and I'm currently losing. So guys, please subscribe. We have to win this race. When you create a new world, it might be tempting to kill all the animals for the food. However, think twice before you do this because it's much wiser to build a farm and you can't do that if you killed every single animal in a thousand block radius there's nothing that screams i am a noob more than playing with auto jump for some strange reason this feature is enabled by default however you should instantly turn it off not all horses are created equal so make sure to find a fast one before making it your prime stallion quick horses are great for traveling slow horses are great for leather Having a slow horse is quite embarrassing, but we're only getting started. If you're someone who spam clicks when fighting mobs, then it's time to stop. Because it's very ineffective, there's literally a cooldown indicator that tells you how fast you should click. So stop pretending that we're in 2015, the days of old PvP are long gone. Getting lost in the nether because you didn't screenshot the coordinates of your portal is a rookie mistake. In general, constantly getting lost screams that you're a newbie. What's even worse is not knowing how coordinates work. Listen, if that's you, then close Minecraft and start paying attention in math. You've definitely encountered at least one head hit a staircase in your life. And if you have, you know how annoying it is to use. Don't be lazy, move the blocks above and you won't look like a total noob. The stair block was added to Minecraft for a reason, so make the best of it. It doesn't matter which oak farm you have, you can't be making the mistake of letting big trees grow. I know, I know, it takes time to place slabs 8 blocks above the ground. But you know what also takes time? Chopping down these massive oak trees and finding that last stupid log. If there is one block that can be considered a complete scam, then it is the cauldron. It takes just three bottles to empty it completely. Instead, place down your water and you can use it to fill an infinite amount of bottles. Using a cauldron is pretty dumb. However, I've left the stupidest mistakes for the end of the video. I know many of you are avoiding the ender dragon. You're scared to face Minecraft's final boss. Because of this, you're missing out on enderman farms, elytras, shulker boxes, and much more. But I'm telling you, it's really not that hard. Sure, you'll probably die a few times but you'll be a much better player afterwards people who use blocks of coal to smelt items always think they're so smart but in reality most of that smelting power gets absolutely wasted see a block of coal smelts for a long time and if during that time you run out of items to smelt all of that remaining energy goes to waste stop trying to be fancy and just use normal coal
Curing villagers is great. It lets you access ridiculously cheap trades that you otherwise couldn't. However, if you don't cure the villager right away, you will have a painful realization. This happened to me once and I swear, I'm not making that mistake again. Where is my mending villager? Wait, he despawned? A mistake that I see among new players is not building a super smelter. And by super smelter, I don't mean this monstrosity. Just build a simple one. But Dadu Zack, I'm bad at redstone. Bro, there's no redstone in this thing. Everyone should have one of these. A super common mistake that Minecraft players do is destroying spawners. I get it. Seeing a mob spawner for the first time can be scary, but all it takes is a couple of torches and that spawner is finished. Having more enchantments isn't always better. Some enchants that you should avoid include knockback for your sword, foss walker on your boot, and definitely don't put thorns on your armor. But by far, the worst enchantment is Bane of Arthropods. Even if you're scared of spiders, please don't use this enchantment. It's so bad. Mining millions of blocks by hand is definitely a noob mistake. What you should do instead is build one of these TNT flying machines. You don't have to be some redstone genius to copy the design block for block from some tutorial. Even if the machine blows up a couple times, that's still much better than digging perimeters by hand. Only a certified noob would do that. And the mistakes only get worse. A lot of bad players throw out items for no reason. Why? If something isn't useful now, that doesn't mean you won't need it in the future. This is especially true with blocks. Lots of noobs just throw away cobble and stone because they think they have too much of it. Bruh. When you're traveling across the ocean, watch out for monuments. Not doing so will result in you getting smacked with mining fatigue. You gotta pay attention when you're driving, even if you're driving a boat. One does not drive a boat. One cons a boat. The biggest Minecraft mistake I have ever made is not creating world backups. Please, back up your Minecraft worlds. If you don't, you will regret it. Few years ago, I had a survival server where I built this massive cathedral. It was by far the best Minecraft creation I have ever made. However, I didn't make a backup. And these screenshots is all I have. Rest in peace, Cathedral. I miss you every day. You're probably using the crafting table when making stairs. However, there's a better way. Somehow, I only found this out recently, but when you use the stone cutter, you actually get more stairs from the same amount of blocks. Screenshots are a big part of Minecraft. However, they can also tell a lot about you. If you're using your phone to take screenshots, then you are a certified Minecraft noob. Guys, please, just press F2. Your screenshot will look so much better and people won't make fun of you. There are lots of F3 commands that you should start using. And the best thing is that you don't even have to remember them. By pressing F3 and Q, you will get a list of all the commands. F3 and H will tell you the exact durability of items. F3 and B will show you entity hitboxes and holding F3 and C will crash your game. When building an enderman farm, one of the dumbest mistakes you can make is using the wrong blocks. So if you're planning on building this, make sure to avoid using these blocks, otherwise your farm won't last very long. If you made this mistake in the past, don't worry, it's nowhere near as bad as the next one. Automatic farms are great, but what if I told you that most of the time your farm doesn't work? The game only loads the chunks around you, so unless you're right next to the farm, it's not doing anything. However, there is an Exception. The spawn chunks are the only chunks in the entire Minecraft world which are always loaded. So use this knowledge and build your farms there. If you're not utilizing nether roof, you're making a huge mistake. There's a reason why all of the best Minecraft players have their portals above the bedrock. Traveling in the nether is not only confusing, but also quite risky. Mining for netherite is tricky. You want to go as fast as possible to find more ancient debris. But if you go too fast, you'll end up running into lava. I know I'm not the only one who made this mistake. Lava in the nether spreads so fast that you almost need faker level reactions to survive. Are you using the inventory to its full potential? There are a lot of useful tricks that will make moving blocks much easier. But that is sack, everyone knows this. You'd be surprised. Lots of noobs move items manually instead of shift clicking. Please, learn all the inventory tricks, it will change your life. Ever since 1.16 came out, a lot of Minecraft players have made the mistake of forgetting to put on gold armor in the nether and dying as a result of it. Now that I think about it, this is probably the only time that it's been acceptable to wear golden armor, otherwise you're just trolling. One of the most underutilized features in all of Minecraft are subtitles. This isn't only useful for deaf players, it's made for everyone. You can find hidden lava pools using subtitles, you can hear when there's an axolotl nearby, and you can even
even use them to find mob spawners. When I was a kid, I used to create new worlds all the time. Only now I realized that I should have stuck to one world instead of creating a new one every time I was bored. Look, it's much better to have one great world that you're truly proud of than 20 mediocre worlds that you can barely remember. Perhaps the stupidest mistake you can do is to fall for the traps in Minecraft structures. I'm talking about the dispenser traps in jungle temples or the TNT trap in desert pyramids. I mean, even this villager knows not to step on the pressure plate. No, what are you doing? Hey, if you like Minecraft facts, then please subscribe. Oh, and also check out Miles. He's blowing up like crazy.